Well, thank you very much indeed. And as Mark just said, the plumbing is really in focus right now. So I'd like to now call Erki, Likan and Erki up to stage to tell us about how the reporting infrastructure is going to be changing. He has been heading the IFRS Foundation, but is now in charge of the new group called the IISB. Oh, sorry, ISSB. There's so much alphabet soup, it's easy to get confused. Tell us what the ISSB is and why it matters. Thank you very much, Gillian. <clears throat> To play their role effectively in this transition, financial markets need good quality, comparable information about the effects of sustainability-related risks and opportunities for making investment decisions. In financial reporting, this problem with data quality is largely solved. Twenty years ago, IOSCO strongly supported the creation of the IFRS Foundation and the International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. Now more than 140 countries require companies to report using IFRS accounting standards. Investors get high quality, assured and globally comparable financial information on which to make investment and capital allocation decisions. Companies have to standardize their reporting to the markets. Two years before the Kyoto Protocol was signed in 1999, Back then, financial reporting and climate and sustainability disclosure did not meet. Today, they are two sides of the same coin. Capital markets have an essential role to play in reaching net zero. But that can only happen when sustainability information is produced with the same rigor, assurance of quality and the global comparability as financial information. In response to strong demand for global sustainability standards, we are able to make three announcements today. First, we are announcing the formation of the International Sustainability Standards Board, or ISSB. Its purpose is to develop, in the public interest, a comprehensive global baseline of sustainability disclosures for the financial markets. IFRS Sustainability Disclosure Standards. This is what the G20, IOSCO and many others have asked for. The new board will sit within the IFRS Foundation, alongside with ISB, and work closely with it. Second, we are today announcing a commitment to consolidate two investor-focused international sustainability standard setters into the ISSB. The Value Reporting Foundation, which is home to SASP standards and integrated reporting, and the Climate Disclosure Standards Board, CDSB, will become part of the IFRS family. And third, we are publishing two prototypes of the climate disclosure and general sustainability disclosure requirements. This is the outcome of the work by the Task Force for climate-related disclosures, the VRF, the CDSP, the World Economic Forum and ISB, supported by IOSCO. The aim is to consolidate key aspects of this content into an enhanced, unified set of recommendations for considerations for the new board, by the new board. Of course, the new board will be independent to take its decision. All these actions together create the necessary institutional arrangements for global sustainability disclosure standards set for the financial markets. The ISSB will focus on meeting the sustainability information needs of investors for assessing enterprise value and making investment decisions. Its standards will help investors understand how companies are responding to ESG issues like climate to inform capital allocation decisions. The standards will form a comprehensive global baseline of sustainability disclosures. They can be used on a standalone basis or integrated into jurisdictional requirements to serve broader stakeholder or other public policy needs. The global baseline approach provides investors with high quality 
global comparability they need, while jurisdictions incorporating the global baseline can go further if they so wish. The ISSB will have a global footprint and presents through offices in the Americas, Asia and EMEA region. We will we'll introduce mechanism for formal engagements with the jurisdictions developing their own sustainability reporting requirements. The new board will also benefit from a range of expert advice, including guidance from IMF, the OECD, the World Bank, the United Nations and others. Engagement with developing and emerging economies will be an important priority. There's much work ahead of us and many challenges are on the way. However, I want to conclude here, we have now a path towards global sustainability disclosure standards for the financial markets. We will move diligently, but with pace. And we will do so by working close cooperation with you, with all important actors in the area. Thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed, Aki.